If you are watching this video the day that it goes out, the day that it's live, then it is in fact my 22nd birthday on April 22nd. Hard to believe that I'm already 22 years old. I am recording this about a week in advance, so it's not quite my birthday yet when I'm recording this. And also, if you guys have been following along with my beach prep series, then you know the 22nd I wanted to reach the goal of 150 pounds. And obviously, I'm recording this a week ahead, so I don't know if I reach this or not, and obviously if you guys have followed along that you know if I've reached that goal or not. Hopefully I did, if not, then there's probably a good reason why, and uh, you'll see that. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me and there's not too much background noise. There's baseball going on here, and there's softball going on there. I'm in the parking deck, but this is the best place to go. The reason of this video, though, is to talk about, you know, I've been alive for 22 years. What have I accomplished in those 22 years? What have I learned in those 22 years? What do I expect to happen in the next 22 years? It's kind of amazing that you look back and say, 22 years, or however old you are, 30 years, 15 years that you've been alive, what have you done? Do you need to have done anything by 22? About to graduate college and go on to a whole nother chapter of my life and I couldn't be more excited. And I truly am a believer in that everything happens for a reason. There is a reason right now that I am at the school that I am, Seton Hall University. There is a reason that I picked up a camera half a year ago and I'm sitting in front of it right now talking to you guys. There is a reason for that. And I think a lot of it goes back to events that happened before this. You know, playing soccer my entire life in the hopes that I one day would get a scholarship, sacrificing all the money and time and effort to get to all the tournaments, be on the best teams, to go to all of the college recruiting, to get to this opportunity where I could play Division One soccer for four years. And it got me to this school, but everything that had to happen before that to even get here. And it's amazing how everything leads to another thing. Now soccer got me to loving fitness, got me to this school and I found nutrition and working out and then it got me in front of you guys, in front of YouTube, in front of this camera and I couldn't be more thankful for that. And now I'm 22 years old about to end this chapter of school, not going to any more classes, not taking any more tests, not sitting in any more classrooms, no more projects. The time is on me now. The time to be productive, to get things done, make a name for myself because that's ultimate, ultimately that's what I want. I want someone to say, Gina Mariana, yes, I know what she does or I know what she's about. I don't want people to be like, oh, she's just another person. So I don't think that's how I live my life and I don't think that's the direction I'm taking my life to be just another person. I want to leave my mark, I want to make an impact on people because I've gone through so much in the past and I know everyone has their stories, I get that and I think it's great, but it's how do you come from those stories to make you who you are today? How did all the sacrifices in soccer and you know, if you don't know, I've dealt with eating disorder twice, two episodes of that. How did all of that get me to where I am today? Did I let all those sacrifices and the eating disorder put me down in a worse place? No. I'm stronger than I ever was before, mentally, physically, and I couldn't be more thankful for that. But all of those events, if they didn't happen, I don't know if I would be doing this right now. Would I still be in education and teaching? Because that's originally what I was doing in school. I'm graduating with a degree in education. Would I still be doing that or would I be here? I don't know, but I'm truly thankful that yes, there's a lot of sacrifices in the past. Yes, I dealt with anorexia twice because it got me to here. I was strong enough to get out of that and 
be here right now and to help many, many other people. And whether I know I'm helping you or not, I just, every day I put out a video and I hope that it reaches someone in some way, whether it's how to make a recipe, a different workout in the gym, or just to be strong and know that you can do it. My goal is, now that I'm 22 is to help as many people as I can. This project that I've been working on, my secret project that I talk about, I know I haven't given you guys a lot of information, but recently I have taken the biggest step in it and I, I'm hoping that if all goes right I can reveal it to you guys in, I'm going to say about two months. It might seem like a long time, but two months has flown by. This semester in school has absolutely flown by and I just want to make the most of it. I know this project that I'm working on could help so many people and I truly know it's going to do well as long as I take the right steps and if it's worth it, it takes time. That's why I don't want this thing to just happen overnight because it would not be the best that it could be. And in each video I hope to give you guys a little bit more about what this project is going to be but right now it's still slightly in the beginning stages so I'll be giving you guys more information as that goes but you know I'm 22 years old, done with school now. What can I do for the world? What can I do for you guys? What can I do for my family, for myself? My family has gotten me to this point. April 22nd, 1994. Now, 22 years later, what can I do for myself? There's so many people that got me to this point, but now I want to go here. I want to go here. How can I get myself there? And to thank everyone that got me to this point, how can I thank them when I get to here? They did all the work up to now, and now it's my turn to never give up, to learn, to inspire, and to grow. Because just because I'm 22, I'm an adult, my life doesn't end, I don't start just working and slaving away every day. No, I want to enjoy. I put in time and effort now, I want to show that, I want to help people, and that's just kind of my plan. I want to keep this video as short as possible so you do watch the entire thing. So I'm gonna wrap it up kind of around here. But I just want to say thank you to you guys. Yes, it's I have a small channel, but it's not, about numbers, but then again it is. I know a lot of people say, you know, I'm gonna start YouTube, I'm gonna start a business, but it's, you know, it's never gonna be big. You know, my business, it's not gonna be the next thing, I don't ever think that's gonna happen. And then one day, you know, they've got thousands of YouTube followers, their business is growing, and they say to themselves, oh, I never thought this would happen. For me personally, I don't always believe that because why would you put in the effort to make a bunch of videos to invest a bunch of money in a company if you don't think it's gonna be something, if you don't think it's gonna be big. You have to have that mindset that you're gonna do something big, that what you're working on is going to be big, whether it's YouTube, whether it's your company, whether you're working a nine to five job, you're not gonna say, all right, you know, I'm a manager of this company, I'm satisfied, you know, whatever, it's, it's cool. No, you're always thinking about the bigger picture because you want that promotion, you want, you know, the next step. Don't ever be satisfied here when you know you can get here, and then here, and then here, and so on. So when people say, oh, you know, I just, I just want a few followers, I'm okay. Now, in here, you know you want bigger. You know you want bigger, and maybe it's not going to happen. Maybe you're not going to be, you know, the next billionaire in the fitness industry. But you can always do better. Don't be satisfied where you are, and that's where I am right now, 22 years old. I love where I am right now. Couldn't be more thankful for that, for my family, my friends, getting me here today. But now is the next step. It is my turn to continue that. To continue that in the next 22 years, what can I do to help you guys, to help myself and everyone? It is my turn, my time, my turn to learn, to inspire, and to grow. And with that, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. Please leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you have not already. That truly means a lot to me, guys. You guys are my family, and together we will continue this journey, show you guys every step of the way. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. It's hard to believe. Hard to believe that I've come this far. But this is only the start. So with that, thank you once again. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, have a great day.